Hello, welcome back to the vlog, episode number eight of the garage uh, renovation, expansion, update, mudroom, pantry, blah, 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 blah. Here we go. First and foremost, if you are new here, welcome. Uh, hit that subscribe button and tap the bell for the notifications so that you do not miss a single video, a single vlog coming out of the channel here. Uh, and uh, yeah, we got a lot more content coming. We got a lot more uh, projects coming as well, uh, which is exciting. And I'm gonna share some of that uh, today with you guys as we uh, kind of turn the corner on this project at least. I think we're about the halfway mark. Not super confident on that, but somewhere in there. Sorry, I'm looking for a key. Uh, so uh, anyway, we're getting close though. We're getting really, really close to the halfway mark if we aren't already there. So uh, I did want to show you guys though, this is a couple days later, so this is episode eight. I think it's been like, uh, I don't know, three or four days. Um, I told you I wanted to have some little hand in this project. So this is as probably big as I'm going to, as much as I'm going to have involved in this project. So we decided to update these light fixtures. There's one there, there's one way over there, and then there's one right there. And of course, smart light bulbs and everything else in them. Uh, and so I've got like two big ones. The, the one there in the middle is like 20 inch, and then these two on the porches are 13 and a half inch. So anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is because we're going to have the same lighting along the garage side here, um, here in a couple of weeks, hopefully next week sometime. Uh, but, uh, anyway, so we are like trying to bring it all together, not just all of this side, sorry, let me get over here, not just all of this side done, like this and have the front mesh and everything wired up. Also this, hey Google, turn on the bar lights, right? I mean, okay, so we're getting, <laughs> we're getting everything, hey Google, turn off the bar lights. Um, so we're trying to get more, uh, automated here. Uh, I also got my sprinkler guys out here. I think I talked about that in episode seven, pretty sure. Uh, if I didn't, sprinkler guys came out. Uh, and I got like a little smart controller for that as well. So now I can run that from anywhere in the world, which is amazing because we normally timed it. I think we ran it two or three times during the summer, two or three times a week for like 20 minutes a zone. Um, but now we have uh, a controller, an app, uh, as well as I can turn it on with the Google Home thing right there. So, sorry, I just got a call. What's that talking about? Sprinklers, Wi-Fi controller. Uh, so everything can run through the Google Home now. The lights, the sprinklers, the Roomba can clean up after you because you're really furry. Fancy boy. He hasn't had his coffee yet. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, I think that's about it for today at least. Um, so I did those three. Um, so one thing, and I was super intimidated by this whole light thing, but basically you just get a smart light bulb, you keep the light on, you go to the manufacturer's app, you download their app, you add the light bulb, and then if it's Google compatible, of course, you can then add it to this to turn on you know, voice, via voice command. Uh, so anyway, just a couple though, like I think what I'll probably do, cause all of these are LED. So eventually I think we'll retrofit all these and separate them out and stuff. Um, oh, one more, one more bulb here. Um, or one more uh, thing on these lights real quick. Uh, eventually I think we'll just, as they go out, we'll replace them with, you know, the newer bulbs or whatever. Uh, but, I do want to give you a slightly closer view. So the bulb that goes in here is like $20, but it can do like a myriad of colors and dimness, a dimness? It's dimmable. <sighs> so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have another one somewhere in here. And then of course, like, uh, let's see. You got two big ones. So one, two, three, four, five. So then we'll have three more over there. Uh, so anyway, that's what they look like close up though. Um, the one in the front over the front door, I basically just took this piece off and took that piece off. And so it's just hanging cause we already had that hardware up there. So, uh, but anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. It's not huge, um, which was not the idea. I just wanted something that was kind of understated. I like the, 
you know, a little more modern look to that. Um, so anyway, there you go. Still waiting on that. So of course this will go really nicely with all of our other cameras and automation and stuff uh, that you can uh, see here. Uh, so we probably have to add like, I don't know, I had two outdoor cameras. I think one here shooting back this way, one on the other side shooting back towards the driveway. I'll probably have to get two more cameras, something like that, somewhere in there. I really wanted to do one here, looking out toward the entryway so you could see who's coming and going. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I just thought of something. Sorry, that was my <laughs> awakening. Actually, I might get three. So one indoor shooting this way, one outdoor shooting that way another outdoor shooting that way. Maybe one for the garage. I don't know. I feel like I need... Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I just remembered something else. So, I don't know, three or four more cameras maybe uh, to complete the, ha the hum <clears throat> home automation. Stand by. Hold on. One second. Um. <laughs> sorry. Where's my... Where's the, oh yeah, there it is, okay. Uh, so then we got this, uh, sorry. Plus it's a disaster, I've been a little busy. Uh, which is the um, Nest and uh, Yale lock. So this will go on the front door. You can just type in your code and, uh, and then the door will open. So it's like a, you know, wireless um, deadbolt, handle, rail, door, knob thing. <laughs> that will also be on the network and smart home, blah, blah, blah. We chose Google Home because uh, it seems to be the most compatible with everything. We had Alexa before, but the older Alexa got, the worse Alexa got. <laughs> and Google has been amazing. The voice recognition, I think, is a lot better. Um, you turn off all the data, blah, blah, blah. But uh, for the most part, I'm really happy with this. Um, it also does facial recognition. So like when I walk up here, that little thing comes up. So if I walk away, the wave disappears. I think it's really just the eyes. Let's see, let's walk away here. So that thing, <laughs> there it goes. So when you walk up, it goes, oh, hey, you're, so, you're standing there. So now you don't have to say, hey, Google, you just say, add water to my shopping list. Add water to my shopping list. Got it. I added water. Take water off my shopping list. Okay, I deleted water. So when you do the whole facial recognition thing, then you don't have to worry about um, saying, hey, Google before. So anyway, assistant setups and all that type of stuff. But I will tell you, I love it because, yeah. Uh, I like it because it saves time. You can literally just say, hey, Google, turn on the lights. Hey, da, 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 da. And then you can immediately get all that. You don't have to worry about going into an app. And Anyway, uh, plus the kids love the whole lights thing out here because you've got three lights in the front. So like all the same bulbs, roughly the same size fixture anyway, at least from the street. You can't really tell the difference. Um, so like 4th of July was last week. We did red, white, and blue, and like when Halloween comes in, turn them orange or red or like whatever we're, we're doing. So anyway, a little bit of smart home automation going on in addition to all this stuff. Um, and again, as I said, I think, you know, like these three bulbs in here, we could probably do these bulbs in here. That way you can say, hey, Google, you know, turn on the dining room lights or the living room lights or whatever else. But these are not cheap. And I think as they get cheaper, it'll be more beneficial for us to then go through and replace uh, all of those light bulbs. But um, all of these as well are all recessed cans, you know, all the way around. Um, every switch in this house had a dimmer on it. And I hate dimmers because when you, you know, you walk by, you're like, that's not the amount of light I ever wanted. And now you got to dim it. So anyway, uh, why am I telling you guys all this? Oh, right. So, in addition to the garage project, like uh, a lot of the smart home stuff will be in there as well. Like the, the cans that we've already put in there are smart home or compatible, whatever. So you can just say, hey, we will turn on the mudroom lights and then they'll come on in half bath, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, but just wanted to like weave that in a little bit. And again, I installed those lights. It's not that hard. Um, 
There was one though that I think I put on backwards initially and I couldn't figure out why it was going. There's no front or back. It doesn't say front or back on it. So anyway, uh, but uh, I think they're coming today to do some doors, something else, and then the fence tomorrow. So we'll show you some of that. Okay, so same day here, same shirt, obviously. Um, <laughs> not a different day, not the same shirt. I am up here at Florida Court. You already saw we got the tile picked out. It's like a gray slate tile that we're doing in the mudroom, pantry, bathroom, and Murphy's corner there. Um, yeah, I just had a epiphany. Anyway, uh, so I'm at Florida Court to get the uh, countertop for the pantry, which is like a wood... Uh, butcher block looking thing so we're gonna do the countertop in there so when you walk into the pantry to the right will be the countertop coffee maker toaster just a couple things we plug in uh we'll probably do like a charging station in there as well for kids ipads and phones and whatever else um or maybe wireless i don't know we'll see uh it just feels appropriate with all the smart smart home stuff but anyway i think i'm just gonna get the butcher block countertop and then go get the toilet from home depot as well i just like having all this stuff lined up so there's no excuse to stop working once the floor is done the bathroom can pretty much come together the vanity we already have the toilet i'll go get the butcher block will go in we do have to measure for the shelving and stuff so we'll probably do that tonight and i'll try to get some of that for you as well uh but a lot of this is just like we didn't really know the exact dimensions just yet once we framed that pantry wall in we weren't totally sure where it was going to go could have been off by an inch or two and the last thing i wanted to do was have like a two inch gap on all the ends of the shelves so anyway floor and decor here we go Ooh, beautiful it's crazy with the, that's one tile that is one tile that's what three feet three feet four feet by four crazy i love the large format though see it a lot more in new construction um i think that's the one we're actually doing if i remember correctly but that'll look nice Ooh, god look at the detail on that amazing oh yeah sorry counter shot here we go this is why i don't go shopping <laughs> All right, so here's your uh, realtor tip of the day though. So as as I walk through the uh, aisles over there, you know, it makes me think there's some really ugly tile in there. <laughs> if you're gonna do something like this, if you're gonna build something, if you're gonna redo something, renovate your master bath, you know, whatever, um, think about the next buyer because I guarantee you, and I've been through enough homes at this point that people put stuff in their houses and it just makes you go, who thought that looked good, number one. But number two, from a resale perspective, it turns a ton of people off because what ends up happening is that buyer walks through and goes, that tile is ugly. We gotta replace that, we gotta rip it out. And so by doing more neutral stuff, you may not love it, but it will save you the headache of getting less on your home in the future. So anyway, you know, just when you see ugly stuff, you're like, yeah, I know, someone bought that and they put it in their house and it looks terrible. Um, so. When in doubt, go more neutral every single time. You can't say I didn't give you something out of this video series <laughs> that, was, that was not real estate valuable. It, it pains me to, to walk into a house that needs renovations or needs junk ripped out of it and someone absolutely loved it, fell in love when they saw it. It's just like, ugh, nothing worse. Anyway, there you go. Realtor tip of the day. Hmm. Sandy Springs pickup truck right here. Good job, Audi. <laughs> Thinking of the consumer. Uh, so this thing's eight feet long, 25 inches deep. So it'll be nice, like your normal, I think normal countertops are like 24, 25 feet or something like that. But this thing is taking up every bit of real estate we got in here. Back to the house. Don't think I can get a toilet in here right now. <laughs> Hashtag planning. All right, so back at the house, we got the countertop in there. I can't really go in there right now. It's a little dusty. Uh, but what I talked about uh, earlier, as far as project goes, projects go, um, I've been kind of thinking and considering. I'm like, okay, so I've rebuilt a boat, um, my grandmother's boat. If you 
didn't know that. We did that. Uh, I think there's a video on here somewhere about that. I'm sure if you Google or Google, if you go to the channel, <laughs> go to videos and put in like boat restoration, boat rebuilding, rebuilding a boat, something like that. You'll find that video. But anyway, long story short, my grandmother's mother got a boat when she was, uh, she turned 50. They got it for her 50th birthday. Um, she then handed it down to my grandmother. Uh, my grandmother passed a couple years ago, but before she did in 2011, I think it was September, 2011, we gave her back the boat. And so she sold it when I was like 18 or 19, 20, 21, somewhere in there. Um, and, uh, so she sold it. She didn't tell any of us that she sold it, but she sold it. And, uh, it took me like eight years to find it on, um, uh, um, Craigslist. Sorry. I just totally blinked. I was looking on eBay, Craigslist, boat trader, like anywhere and everywhere boats were sold. Cause I was like, we gotta get this boat back. <laughs> uh, it just had so much family heritage history. So anyway, long story short again, she had it, her grandma, my grand, my great grandmother had it. She gave it to my grandmother. My grandmother sold it. I found it like again, seven or eight years later after she sold it. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, so we bought it back. We restored it completely. The only original pieces left on it were the hull and I think the steering wheel came with it, but it didn't work with the new system. So we had to change it out anyway. Uh, but we went through and restored that. I did not do YouTube at the time. So I missed out on all of that um, and kind of telling that story and everything. But anyway, that boat is now near the lake at least. Uh, and of course, in the middle of summer being enjoyed by a family and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm doing this project now and I would love, nothing would make me happier. And I think we talked about this in one of the past couple of videos about like the neighbor next door here is a builder. He's gonna tear down that house and he's gonna build a new house, which I think is phenomenal. And I'm gonna to talk to him about uh, filming a new build from start to finish. And I think it's like a spec built, custom built, semi-custom built, something like that. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna to talk to him about that, see if we can cover some of that. Cause I think it would be really cool to walk you guys through step by step by step. Um, and of course being in real estate, it only makes sense. Second to that, I'd really like to, to find a house that I could flip um, or a, residents that I can flip. It doesn't even have to be a house. It could be a townhome or a condo or something, but um, I think that would be really valuable content. I'd also love to buy another car uh, or another boat or a motorcycle or something and flip it, fix it, sell it, the whole thing. So, um, and a buddy of mine is currently in like uh, the middle, not the middle, he's kind of the beginning stages of uh, buying a bunch of Range Rovers right now, Andrew. So one of these coming up episodes, I'm going to go talk with him about his builds, what he's doing. He's got a YouTube channel, it's like 2,000 subscribers, so something amazing. Um, so we will go talk to him about that, but I'm getting the itch now. Like, as this, as I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I'm like, and I really don't have a hand in this, so to speak. Um, I'm not that handy, but I am handy. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm really getting the itch for like another project or something. So obviously once all of this is done, I can't, I gotta focus and finish this, but, I would love to hear from you, genuinely. Boat, wave runners, motorcycle, a car, a house, flip, something like that. What next project would you guys like to see? Because I gotta like start working on that now. I'd really love to get a 911, another 911, um, or like a 914 or something that um, has some value to it, but um, isn't ridiculous. That way the money that we put into it won't be super insane either, but Anyway, and ideally a flip would be amazing because then I can really make some money, but, um, and show you guys the whole process as well. But I think it'd be cool to do that like in tandem, old house resale flip, and then like a new construction in tandem or something. But anyway, leave a comment down below because once this is done, we have to have another project. We have to have something else going on. <laughs> it's just the entrepreneur in me. I can't, can't sit still, so. Anyway, uh, meanwhile, a ton of business happening. I've got a listing coming up tomorrow. I've got another listing coming up next week, Friday, Thursday, Friday. And then we have another listing coming up in two weeks. So like, bam, 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 three weeks of three listings here. Uh, and a lot of work. So uh, that's why I have not been as involved in this as probably a lot of you would have liked to have seen. But nevertheless, let's see what they've finished out here wrap up today and uh, we'll probably wrap up uh, 
episode eight here with like the doors and everything kind of roughed in finished. And then we'll talk about finished work in like episode nine, I think, something like that. And I gotta call the city. We gotta get the city back out of here. <laughs> yeah, project comments down below, thanks. Next day here, 100 degrees, legit. I mean, I cannot imagine working out in this heat anymore. I know I just did it a couple years ago. Whew, it's different now. Anyway, welcome back to episode eight. Uh, episode eight, a little country in there. I am headed to Home Depot. There's quite a bit of work going on and this morning's been a little crazy. So uh, the contractor's been here, the fence people have been here. Um, our cleaning ladies came by and were like, uh, what's going on here? So, anyway, uh, fence is gonna be done today. Doors should all be moved. I think the pan I just left the pantry, pantry doors installed and something else. Um, maybe that's it. Pantry door? Oh, the back door from the, from the garage to the back patio is installed as well. So they have been making some progress. Really right now there's a lot of sheetrock work, uh, mud, you know, joints the whole thing uh, and there's a lot of like little details to that um, since we have that beam the ridge beam in the middle we covered that up with drywall um, yeah so anyway a lot of detail work but electrical is almost done at least for inspection um, not everything's finished or done completely for lights and garage doors garage door openers and everything this heat is getting to me I'm sorry I am headed to the Home Depot to get our pantry shelving and supports and hardware and everything else that we need to uh, complete the pantry. We kind of did like a little layout, Melissa and I measured all of the shelves yesterday, uh, where they're gonna go, how high, how much room in between, so on and so forth. Uh, and so we're gonna do like a U-shape. You saw the butcher block yesterday I got. That's gonna be on one side, 52 inches of that, and then 44 inches above that as like a floating shelf thing uh, for our coffee maker and toaster oven, I think, and then uh, the other two, so like the big wall in front of you and then the big wall on the left are going to be just shelves, storage shelves. Um, no cabinets, no closing anything in. That room is already shrinking by the moment. Um, oh, and then we have the cooler. We got the uh, 115 can Honeywell. Had to think about it for a second. Uh, Honeywell um, beverage refrigerator, which will be phenomenal because when we have like big parties or when our families just come over because they're both huge, uh, we have a ton, ton of water and Cokes and beer and wine and the whole thing jammed into our uh, larger Viking refrigerator. So anyway, it'd be nice to have that. And then I can keep some cold beer, sneak in there, grab one, run out to the garage and do whatever I do on Saturdays and Sundays. <laughs> when I'm not slinging real estate, of course. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go to Home Depot, and then uh, when I get back, I'll show you more of what they've done, what they're doing. The fence probably should be done in the next hour or two. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, but I gotta eat. It's 1.15, I've been on conference calls and Zoom calls with uh, other agents this morning, as well as um, a couple clients as well. I uh, just got two more referrals in today, actually, so a lot going on. But that's why we're documenting this, because as I was watching the video back from yesterday for all of the... Uh, um, like lack of projects, the thing, the, the talking about more projects, taking on more projects and stuff. Uh, I really am just so, so bummed. I don't even, I didn't get many pictures of that boat project. Um, and I know I need to go back and watch that video and see what all we've done to it. Cause I think it was really just like a, I took the boat out for a ride and that does not do it justice. There were trees going in that boat, but anyway, I digress. I'm going to try to focus on one thing at a time here. So there you go. Home Depot, here we go. I got a bright idea. And I think I never was gonna, I think I said I never was gonna sweat on the vlog again, but let's, let's pick the hottest time of the day to go get stuff from Home Depot that requires heavy lifting. Again, hashtag planning. Thank, thank you Sandy Springs pickup truck for coming through. Back to the house. <laughs> One of these days I will get smarter. I know this won't be the last trip, but it's close. We're really, really close. I don't need any like final destination things going on here though. Thank you. Also, this project is now making me bleed. Can you see that? Literal blood, sweat, no tears yet. <laughs> Give it time. Okay, back home. 
I'll show you real quick what we got here. <clears throat> also, I can't can't go outside right now because I might get a copyright infringement. Okay, so we got 30 of these. These are the wood uh, supports for the pantry. Let's back you out a little. Uh, pantry, uh, sorry, I just ran up the hill. Pantry shelf. <laughs> Jeez. What's up? Next day here, let me show you uh, what we're doing with the pantry here real quick. <laughs> and excuse the crude drawings, but anyway, this is what you would be looking at uh, from the left to the center and the right. So like center, left, right, does that make sense? Uh, and then the floor plan. So we took all of our measurements and everything. So this is the right side. So this is where the fridge will be. This is where Murphy's food will be. Little, or switch those, I think. That's what that arrow means. <laughs> Move that here and then some shelves in here. And then that uh, extra butcher block over here. If you're looking at this back wall, you got one, two, three, four, five different shelves here all the way across, like eight feet, 10 inches, there we go. <laughs> and the left side, same thing, kind of continuing this trend over on the other side. So, and then, um, so that's what I went and got yesterday. And then all the supports that you saw the wood, the, the, and then they made other progress. So let's show you that progress. Um, let's see. Okay, so they got that door in, I think you already saw that. They got this door in for the bathroom here. Um, they really just went around all this drywall. I mentioned like all the detail work. I mean, look at that. Uh, that was not there before. Looks great. And then that's off. This is on. Obviously we got a couple more to add there, but finished up the fence yesterday. This looks amazing. Really well done here. So they screwed this in so that we can remove this, install our siding if we need to like cut the end off or whatever here, we can do that. But these are just screws in here on the other side, holding it to this. And then, uh, yeah, a little scalloped look there and then a little scalloped look back there. So really happy with how this turned out. And we got some planting and other stuff we talked about doing in here, but um, nice and consistent all the way down. Obviously it'll all, you know, weather in, uh, same material and everything, so. Looking good, and then you got your little five, five inch gate, five foot gate here that'll open in, which I'm gonna have to do a little more grading, I think. I thought I did enough, but it looks like it's not, not gonna be enough, so. Pull more soil back that way, and that way, and blech. But uh, really happy with how this turned out. And then, of course, it's tied into the building, so now you got wide open spaces, Murphy has his backyard. So uh, yeah, there you go, that is, uh, Friday's update. So hopefully uh, next week they'll come through here and, oh, you can't see me, sorry. <laughs> Didn't think that went through. Hopefully next week this door will get moved out, trim and everything will be painted and done. And then they'll start working on like finishing work. So tile, painting, shelving, putting the fridge in there, putting the butcher block in there uh, and the pantry and stuff, all the shelves. Um, Cause now, we have everything except for the toilet, which I'll probably go get tomorrow. That way there's no excuse why we can't get something else done. Uh, and then the tile, which our contractor is gonna go pick up. But that is a wrap for episode eight. Yeah, eight. Thank you so much for following along. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video of the garage build or anything else for that matter, the cars, the real estate stuff. I'm actually headed out today to show 10 homes. So sellers still got people wanna buy. You just gotta put your house on the market. We got three coming over the next three weeks. One yesterday, one next week, the week after that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you all. Hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.